This week, I decided I wanted to play a new game. Maybe a free game off Steam for a change. So, this tiny little child brain decided to purchase this. Oh my gosh. Ah, video games. Those digital escapes from reality where you can be a heroic space marine, a fearsome warrior, or even a farmer in a fantastical realm. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh, I feel bad. But what happens when a game takes its name so seriously that it almost sounds like a bad joke? That's right, I'm talking about the one and only Operation Harsh Doorstop. I mean seriously, Harsh Doorstop? Are we fighting against aggressive household appliances or what? I'm sure it was some sort of military campaign IRL, but why would you name something Harsh Door- But don't let the name fool you. Because Operation Harsh Doorstop is not your run-of-the-mill video game. It's the kind of game that's so realistic, it makes you question your own sanity. Oh. We got enemy contact! Give him a base! Will do, sir. Yes, sir. I don't see shit! <laughs> Nor do I. Don't worry. You'll be pulling your hair out at one moment and celebrating like you just won the lottery at the next. So grab your helmet and let's dive into the world of absurdity and authenticity that is Operation Harsh Doorstep. Oh, I just, I just shot someone. My own team. Oh no! Did it again? No! Did it again? Ah. When you first fire up this game, you might be tempted to chuckle at its name. I mean, it's Operation Harsh Doorstop, not Operation Saving the World from Aliens, right? But as soon as you jump into your first mission, you'll quickly realise that this is no laughing matter. Hello there. The attention to this detail is pretty average. I mean, the meticulous design of the weapons to the painfully accurate depiction of military tactics. Every aspect of this game screams realism. Bruh. The graphics are so mid, but not anything special, and the animations of enemies and teammates look closer to the Lego movie than anything remotely intimidating. Oh no I didn't. All of that, and you'll still find yourself ducking for cover behind your own couch when a virtual grenade goes off nearby. Yeah, headshot. He just got destroyed. And don't even get me started on the sound design, the deafening roar of gunfire, the distant cries of your comrades, and the ominous hum of tanks rolling into battle. It's all there, and it's all so unnervingly annoying. Why is it not firing? But here's the kicker. This game is Impossibly difficult. It's so so hard. Uh, I mean, especially for someone who's never played a Milsim game before. You're on our side, right? Yes. I've not even tried squad, and this was pretty tricky. What? I mean, seriously, it's like the developers decided to take a cup of realism and dump it on your head. Oh, I got him. Every single kill in Operation Harsh Doorstop feels like a Herculean achievement.
you'll spend hours painstakingly crawling through mud and dodging bullets just to get one measly headshot. And don't even think about rushing into the fray, that's a surefire way to end up as virtual Swiss cheese. Death in Operation Harsh Door Stop is not just a minor setback, it's a soul crushing experience. You'll feel like jumping out of a window every time you die. You'll question your life choices and wonder if you're really cut out for this whole virtual warfare thing. But then, just when you're about to toss your controller out the actual window, you'll get that one perfect shot, that one miraculous victory, and suddenly all is right with the world. That was probably the most inefficient use I could have used that. Well, yeah, maybe. <gasps> no way! I got him! I got a kill! Yes! It's this roller coaster of emotions that makes Operation Harsh Doorstop so addictively infuriating. Every time you die, you have to go back to the spawn of your country or faction, which means running into battle for another 10 minutes. It's so infuriating. You'll curse, you'll scream, you'll consider uninstalling this game altogether, but you'll keep coming back for more because that one win feels like winning the lottery. It's like the game itself is trolling you, luring you in with the promise of glory and then slapping you with the cold hard reality of war. In fact, Operation Harsh Doorstop is so realistic, it's almost disturbing. As a military simulator, it's not just a game, it's a full experience and that level of realism is not for the faint of heart. EMOTIONAL DAMAGE It's the kind of game that might give veterans an actual chance of combat PTSD. Oh, that one sniper's actually doing bits, to be fair. Yep. But not from the horrors of war, but from the frustration of trying to figure out which button throws a grenade while you're under heavy enemy fire. It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. So there you have it. Operation Harsh Door Stop, the game that's so hilariously named, so impossibly difficult and so painfully realistic that you'll question your sanity with every respawn. It's a love-hate relationship like no other, and if you dare to enter its gritty unforgiving world, you might just find yourself longing for the simplicity of a good old-fashioned game of Pac-Man. Ah, ah. So if you did enjoy the video, a subscription, a like, comment, whatever you want to do would be amazing. Thank you so much for the support recently, it's been class, let's keep the ball rolling and I hope you find something else on my channel that you want to watch. This video is pretty good, go check that one out, goodbye. Oh my gosh.